I think the tavern is really beautiful. I love the columns, the old Victorian cast iron columns. I love the shape of the stage, the way it goes out into the audience. I love the mirror balls. I love the sticky floor. The more, um, the more adventurous performers would start running up the bar and then back down the bar as I was singing and many a time I fell off all those things. And if there is going to be harassment in this pub, it's your duty to look after your own. It felt like a really deliberate, strategic assault on the HQ of the gay scene. It really felt like a premeditated, you know, we're gonna get, we're gonna hit you where it hurts, we're gonna close down the Vauxhall Tunnel. We certainly funerals so many funerals in the Vauxhall, well, so many. You know, a day didn't go by when you didn't hear of somebody new who'd either contracted it or had died of it. Because um, we were talking about a period when you know, there was no hope. If you got it, that was it. Basically, there was a lot of queer bashing around. Um, you had to watch your back when you made your way home. And the fantastic difference between being out on the street when all it would take for someone to look at you wrong or shout at you could really ruin your evening and the worst thing that could happen is you get smacked around waiting for the bus. But when you were in here, totally safe. Nobody ever mentioned all the money that was raised. We used to raise it for hospitals and then it was for the Mild May and obviously the London Lighthouse and the Eighth Ward. But before that it was Guy Dogs. I always was taking my clothes off at the Vauxhall Tavern. I kind of stopped doing that later in my career and, and, and mainly to an audience of gay men. But you know I think that was very important for me. For some reason that there must be some kind of thing going on in feminism. I know so many young performers whose first show has been on that stage. As we know, the RBT itself, as we speak right now, there are question marks over its future. Um, and obviously the backdrop to all of this essentially is, is the London property market. You know, there must always be opposition and protest and art and counterculture. And um, that's been a big part of life here. And we've saved it once. And we worked hard to save it. And we're working hard to save it again.